What's going on guys? We have another comment response video. This comment came from Jack Tango. He said, can you do it so the ripple effect shoots sideways when you press a key on its row instead of all over? And it does it on every row when you press a key and only shoots across its own row if you can. Thanks. So thank you very much to the new update razor. We are allowed to do this now because there is a new tool that you can use within your ripple effect layer that'll help you get this done. If you guys haven't already, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as check out my videos that I have in my library. There are a lot of tutorials in there that show you how to make designs like how to make the Pac-Man logo, I got the Flash logo, Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon logo, PlayStation logo, Fortnite Blue Pump. I mean, there's just a lot of designs on there, so please feel free to check it out. But for now, we're gonna get into the video and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this ripple layer effect. All right guys, so to be able to create a ripple effect on each line for the line that is pressed, what you have to do is go ahead and get your ripple effect layer started over here. We're gonna select whatever line we want the ripple to shoot down, and we're gonna pick whatever color we want. I'm gonna click this, and I'm just gonna start with the left one, red. Um, everything else I'm gonna keep the same on start, you want to change this from on press to on selected keys and hit save. So now when I select, when I click any button on that bottom row, it's going to create the ripple effect going sideways. And if I touch any other key above that row, you can see it does not do anything. So we're just going to continue this up the keyboard all the way to the top, choosing different colors for each line. All right, I'm on the second line and I'm gonna just go down the line and choose orange. Make sure I change it to on selected keys, hit save. Next line, I'm gonna choose yellow, change it to on selected keys, hit save. And green, change it to on selected keys, hit save. Blue, change it to on selected keys, hit save. And last, I'm gonna do pink and once again change it to unselected keys so now as you guys can see there is a ripple effect for each individual line for keys pressed on those lines Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future. That's it guys, I'm out.